And here we are back for round two. Would I like to play first? I sure would. Would I like to keep this hand? Well, it's 18 lands. I'm gonna, it needs to draw one of those 18 lands, but if we do, we're pretty happy with it. We can at least get a 2-2 a two -two or a 2-3 down. Which, I mean, that's not exactly the value you want to get off of your Tide Caller, but that also lets us play a potential Clutch of Currents early if we need to. And I also feel like um, Dampening Pulse seems to be a pretty good card. But we do kind of need to hit that land now, but that's sort of why you play 18 lands, so that you can keep uh, two landers. Well, Bone Splinter's not exactly the droid we were looking for, but... Anticipate would have been good there so that we could hit a land drop. I feel like once we hit it, it's going to be pretty good. Hello and good luck. Alright, so we're taking the damages, we're playing the black-white life gain deck, and we hit the land we wanted to hit. So what is best against our opponent's shenanigans? Probably running out the, the sharpshooter. I think is a good start. It at least threatens to trade with, with the Lantern Scout. It can block the other creature. It can do things. If we hit one more mana, then the next turn we've got a Grip of Desolation, which could be pretty fun. Ah, uh, we've just got as many of these as we want, eh? That's going to be a little bit of a problem. I think we just make this trade um, and hope he doesn't have a, a pump spell because if we have to, we can just play this. If we don't, we can always run out the archive into this or just slam the pulse. Like, he's down to three cards. If we can beat those three cards, like, we don't need to worry about his life total yet. We just need to kind of survive for now. So again, this is not the droid I want to play, but we have to play something. So now our lands have flying. Sweet. Stop casting allies. It hurts so bad. So bad. Mm. This is another match where we kind of need to get Noyan out of here. He's annoying. This Noyan. All right. We takes the damage. We're not quite dead yet but we're kind of close oh yep there's more of them we got him down to 33 though so I think we're on the right track so complete disregard really the only thing we can do is get rid of one of these This is when a battlefield enters the battlefield, so we can do it in response and see what he casts, but it's going to be bad. What do I not care that he knows that I have? I guess Noyan, because we're going to side it out anyway. Alright, so grasp on this guy. So does it even matter if we kill anything? I mean, I guess if we kill this and then rip it into the mana for a Dampening Pulse, we're sort of still in this game. But then he's just got to cast so many more allies before it's over. So, I think this is the most likely way for us to survive, but it's, it's not looking good. That was not the droid we were looking for, but I guess we takes it. I may just want to Bone Splinters it, because he's going to swing in anyway. And at least I get to use the mana. I mean, I'm guaranteeing to take two that way, but I may prevent one more. Yeah? Alright. I don't like it, but we need to not die to these silly ally triggers. This hand had such potential. Ha! <laughs> 
Wow, okay. Just was never going to happen. That is good to know. Yeah, I think if we hit the land drops, this hand was really good, but unfortunately we did not. Now we hit the land drops. I mean, I don't think there's much point in even casting anything here. Sadly, I think the right play is just to pass, because anything we cast, we still die. Like, the dampening pulse means this still hits us for one. So I don't, I don't see any reason not to just make him kill us, see if he'll show us another card. So I think I want to go with the plan of cutting uh, the annoying merfolk. Getting us in our blighted fin. And probably another swamp. And then what do we want to play instead? Probably another removal spell for a little thing. Roll Mage's Trick could be decent. Could be interesting. Um, it may just be that I need to bring in the Demon's Grasp. And accept that it kind of sucks that we're going to have to use it to kill stuff that's smaller. But eh, it's kind of what we got to do. Like, I'm not sure that we have another real option. I could use the Swarm Surge. No, not the Swarm Surge. That's not the card I thought it was. I thought it was the one that makes a dude, and that is not what this is at all. It pumps your guys. Yeah, there's no chance that ever gets in this deck. I completely misunderstood that card. I could play the Assassin just as something to block. Yeah, I think that's probably what I need. It's just something I can cast earlier and block. Like, it's not going to be good, and it's never going to get triggered. I suppose it could if we're able to get a Ruin Processor going, but this is probably more what we need. Yes, let's play first. Well, this hand looks fine. We can anticipate. We can at least get a 3-2 down. We've got Bone Splinters unless he can, in case he casts something that's particularly annoying. Like, this deck does still want to hit all of its land drops. Well, there's a Ruin Processor. We don't need to anticipate now, so I may as well do it into turn. Fuel for Delve and all that. All right, there's your healer. Like this is where a complete disregard would be a nice hit. Instead, we've hit a guide, a patrol, and a nullifier. The nullifier gives us a way to potentially flash in a blocker, and I think that's probably the card I want. I hate to put the patrol on the bottom because that's probably going to be our finisher, but. It is what it is. Like, if we play this and then attack and pass with our mana up, he may attack into it. And it could let us kill one of those dudes, which is kind of what we want to do. And here we can even get a little value by playing the Assassin first. Although this could potentially get some ingest shenanigans going. Yeah, sure, I'll play it. I don't mind trading it off for one of his guys. I mean, we missed the trigger for the damage, but that's not a huge deal. Like, if we are able to get some ingest in and actually counter spell with this, that'd be cool too. But it's fine. It's just a 2-3 flash flyer to try to eat one of these idiots. Trana's Emissary. Okay. This means, again, we kind of have to attack and hope he attacks into us here. because I'm not sure what else we can do. Yep, those trigger each other. Bad things are happening. All right, at least we get to eat the emissary. See you later. So there's an argument to playing the assassin and burning this out of the way. So we're left with an ally against that. And we've got two things ingested for our ruin processor when we get enough mana for it. And I think I probably like that line of play. 
Like this assassin is not getting any better and that needs to die. So let's kill it. Like, do I keep this to save one point of damage? Probably not. Like, we're one mana away from processing this, and that five life is going to be a pretty big game for us. Like, that's something we can't really deal with right now, but that's fine. See, we got our land. And having those two cards ingested is pretty good. So let's just hit for two in the air and pass. Probably taking four, but then we can resolve a seven, eight and should be in pretty good shape. I think. We'll see what happens next. That's not a problem. Yeah, so we're just taking two. That's actually pretty good as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, we'll swing for two here, and then play the processor. Process some lands for our buddy. Okay. One, and... Oh, it's just one? That's all you gotta do? This guy's amazing! Sweet! For some reason, I thought he was processed too. That must be the guy that gets the counters I was thinking about. Because I feel like we're in pretty good shape now. You want to attack me now, bro? Mmm, spaghetti. We are not out of the water by any stretch of the imagination, but we have begun on a path that gets us out of the water. 3-3 three, three Flying Vigilance. It's kind of a problem and kind of not a problem. So what do you do? You don't get anything back, which kind of sucks. You could be good if you did. I could play both of them. Like, let's say we swing with this, what happens? Can he kill it? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He can if he puts everything in front of it. Which he probably won't do, but let's say he does. What do we kill? Uh, we kill this guy and this guy, potentially. I'm kind of okay with that. I think that means we attack and play the Silent Skimmer. Like, there's a chance he takes it, a chance he chumps it. All right. I'll take a chump. The real question is, do I play this guy or do I try to get value? I don't think I need the value, especially when bouncing his guys is just not really good for us. Um, and I can already block that. Uh, it does just make my awaken spells, all of them, good anyway. I'm I'm gonna cast it. I just feel like having stuff on the board is better at this point. That's a tough one. Like if I rip an awaken spell next turn, perhaps I'll regret that. But I feel like our game plan now is attack with this every turn and see if we can do the thing. Okay, so he's got he's got dudes. like drawing a land is just no good so let's say we attack again let's do the math again I could still kill this guy and his ally and we're in fairly good shape I can't think of a way that hurts us so we'll attack with the 7-8 I've also got two points of burn in hand well on board I guess
to pay attention to what's an ally and what's not. He has three of these in his deck at least, and this Drannus Emissary is just super scary. We don't really have a good way to block that. Okay, so you guys have Vigilance. That's a thing you could do. And you drain me for one. That's also a thing you could do. Ah, oh, I see what you did there. You killed my Brocker. Alright. We've still got some blocks. So like we get to block this for free the question is do we want to chump this with the dominator drone like what is it doing if it doesn't prevent four damage here four five six seven it's not getting through but is it going to prevent more damage in the future like to win this what do we need to do probably connect with this well, we're going to need to connect with this and something else because I was thinking like drawing just our ally guy off the top isn't going to do it. I guess if we draw that ally guy, we could perhaps use this. I, I think having it in play is better for me and that going to eight isn't super lethal. Like we can see what we draw and then make our decision. That's not terrible. It does at least make him sacrifice something, which I think means I can attack with this and see if he chomps and then potentially use the sacrifice ability. So let's try that. Like maybe he just doesn't chomp and plans on killing me next turn. But I think if I can get him to chomp with something and then use the blighted fin, we're gonna get a real creature out of it. question is do I do it now but I can always do it in response to him playing something so I guess not okay well I don't want him to sacrifice that so let's make you sack something now Like, all, or, all of these are things we would like him to not have in play. The Griffin's probably the least valuable. Yeah, he agrees. Okay, so that comes into play. We takes the damage. I think we're in chump mode now. Four, five, six, seven. So obviously dying's not good. The question is, do I chump with the flyer too? Like I think we got to do this. I can put everything in front of this guy, and then he first strikes. He can't kill everything, but he can kill this, which is a problem. I think I chump it. I leave this up, and I can always chump that next turn if I have to. We basically need to draw a uh, awaken spell, which that is not. But I can draw any of these things that I want to. What do I want to draw? A Dominator Drone? I mean, that hits him for two. Which, this is this is not enough to do that. I could attack with this and let him kill it and then draw it. That seems horrible. Um, I could play it and not use the ability, because this is just not what I need. <sighs> we take three here, and then we can survive if we draw an Awaken spell. Or again, I can just chump it. I don't want any of these cards. I guess I'll just play the swamp. I think that means we don't attack here. What if he gives this thing death touch? That's so bad. Gosh, if I was going to chump, maybe I'd just do it here. Because this getting death touch, I guess we need him to break now. The other option is attack. Because I cannot die next turn. And that puts us drawing one of our two um, unblockable merfolk allies to lethal or the bounce spell to lethal. So let's think about that for a minute. Let's say that I attack with this and he draws a blank. 
Then he swings team. Um, we potentially chump. Chump here, then take. We'd have to chump here as well, wouldn't we? So him drawing a blank would be him drawing a land. And <laughs> we'd have to chump both of them and then still not win. I guess that lets us win off one of the two guys, or the bounce spell still gets it. So I think actually attacking is the right play. Which is bizarre. But I think it's the right call. I could be crazy. Let's see what happens here. Alright. So if he gets greedy and swings team, we may have a shot at it. Okay, that's land. So we have to make the exact chumps I talk about, talked about if he swings team. And then we just need any kill spell for this guy and we win. Alright, so if I take the three here and block like this, then the bounce spell kills him and my unblockable spell kills him. Uh, Coastal Discovery does not kill him unless we draw Coastal Discovery into the Bounce spell. So this looks like the weirdest block you've ever seen, but I think it's actually correct. Okay, that, that didn't actually work out, um, but if this had been either of those spells, like if we draw our unblockable guy, obviously we just play it and make this unblockable. If we draw the bounce spell, we just awaken it, bouncing this and kill him. Uh, so we've got one of those and then two of the other guys. I think this just leaves us dead. Is there any world in which we can survive? Like, I guess he'd have to bounce this and let us replay it to gain the five life. That's not going to happen. I guess we hold and see if maybe he doesn't attack. There's absolutely no reason for him not to, but that was a close one. This life gain deck seems like it's the real deal, and it's one of the, the archetypes I have not tried yet, so I'm very interested in trying that out. Death by ally. No, that's the classy way to kill your opponent. Whoop. It's going to do the good games. Good games. Good games. So it seems like the black-white uh, life gain deck is a really a thing. I still like the blue-black deck, though. I, I mean, we were a couple cards away from being able to do a thing. Yeah, so there was the guide that wins it for us. Exert Influence doesn't um, because of reasons. But the Clutch of Currents would have, too. So, I mean, we still had draws to get there. But we need to be pretty lucky. Rogue's Passage would have been good, too. But I suppose that's too good to be in this format. Anyway, I appreciate you guys and gals turn, tuning in here on Seems Good Magic. Um, if you just can't get enough Travis, you can also catch more of me on my Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash Simulan. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you again uh, next time.